What is up team? So in today's video, we're going to be having a look at VRA Veracity, one of my top favorite altcoins. Of course, I'm not accumulating as much anymore because or I'm not putting as much money because it is very, very low, guys. We got a market cap of twenty four million dollars. So instead of me putting thousands of dollars, I'm going to be putting one hundred, two hundred dollars um, because let me tell you why. With two hundred dollars, let's just say you put two fifty divided by zero point zero zero five, you're essentially getting 50,000 veracities guys for $250. Now, 50,000 veracities is uh, 50,000 VRAs back in uh, November when it was at 8 cents was actually $4,000. So that is why I'm heavily down on VRA. I'm not going to lie, but Veracity, they claim that they have funds for the next 10 years. So VRA is here to stay. We have $24 million market cap. Volume to market cap ratio is still quite high. So people are still trading. People are still interested. Rank 521. We got a we got 362,000 people on the watch list, guys. And yes, we are under heavily under one cent. We're 50% under one cent. But guess what? I don't care about that. We are in a bear market. There's no question about that. Um, Let's have a look at Bitcoin before we dive into the VRA veracity charts. So I always start off with Bitcoin because Bitcoin is king. There's no question. Where can Bitcoin go? First of all, OK, a lot of people are getting a little bit too excited right now. People think that Bitcoin is going to go up. People think that Bitcoin is going to go to 40,000. People think that we're in a bull market again. People are getting way too hyped. First of all, we, are, we were in this channel right here on the four hour time frame. OK, four hour time frame. We had a nice little bounce right here. As you guys can see, we were way, way oversold on the RSI, but that's no question. I'm going to get to that in just a second. Um, I'm going to also talk about the monthly, something that someone mentioned earlier that I want to talk about. But um, right here we came up. OK, we broke out of the channel. We broke out of this uh, trend and we know the trend is your friend until it bends. We bend down. Now, what was very interesting after we broke out of this is that we actually came back to this support, this cross support resistance okay so this was a resistance we got a touch right here this was a touch of a new resistance we got rejected right here came back up broke out of the resistance came back down retested that support resistance so this is probably one of the best ways to essentially trade it's essentially support resistance and how did i do that i actually did this last night i did this last night before i went to sleep and i, I took this i went like that and i was like wait a second we could actually come back go back up maybe make a double top or um yeah, double top before coming back up. And this is exactly what's happening. We came back and we're most likely going to see something like this happening. Uh, consolidate from here and then come back down and then maybe retest, you know, 16,000. I've been saying on my Twitter that 16,000 was a big, big, uh, big, big part. Anyways, having a look at the monthly time frame. Now, someone said something very interesting and I'm going to explain to you guys just just to clarify. OK, someone was like, guys, the RSI is going down and the volume is going down as well. So if we pull up the RSI right here and we do the log and we actually hit the volume, I don't know why that went away. We're actually seeing a decrease in volume. Now, a lot of people think that this is dollar volume. Now, it's not. Uh, the volume right here is actually Bitcoin. So back then, more Bitcoins were getting traded. We had one million of Bitcoin getting traded in one day. Of course, today we're not going to have that because Bitcoin is at a higher price. So it's it's harder for people to essentially get a, a hold of those Bitcoins. And, and people aren't trading as uh, you know Bitcoin as much more. People are holding Bitcoin. So this is something to also keep in mind, guys. Yes, volume is decreasing like crazy. But guys, this is Bitcoin volume, not dollar volume. The dollar volume has actually increased significantly. Um, uh, ever since, uh, well, I'm speaking so fast, ever since, uh, you know, Bitcoin has, you know, started. Um, and in this bull market or in the last bull market right here, Bitcoin, actually the volume of the dollar uh, in Bitcoin actually exploded like crazy. So this right here, this decrease right here on the monthly time frame, it's not something to worry about. This is just the Bitcoin value being traded. It is not the dollar value. So right here, obviously, Bitcoin traded at twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars. We're obviously going to see less um, volume being happening, especially in a bear market. So this right here is a bear market, just to keep in mind. So, yes, we are in a bear market. So less volume is going to be traded. People are holding. People don't want to pay per hand right here. Everyone's buying, selling, leverage this, that. So this is why it's very, very important to understand these little key factors. Um, and, and this is the Bitcoin USD on Bitstamp. So right here is the longest uh, Bitcoin time chart um, that you'll see. It brings you back all the way to 2011 BTC USD, not USDT. 
So that's pretty, pretty interesting. Another thing I want to talk, have a look at is VRA veracity, guys. Where is VRA going? Is it going to survive this bull market or this bear market? A lot of people are saying, oh, VRA, it's going to die. It's a low coin. I don't think it's going to come back, guys. Like I said in the beginning of my video, the VRA, first of all, the, the, uten the utility for this token is very, very needed. We need, you know, the proof of you. We need... Uh, the patent we you know we need to you know destroy all these fraud bots and whatnot so vra is in my opinion of course guys not financial advice always do your own research and due diligence but in my opinion it is here to stay so it's going to be very very interesting to see how it, it, it reacts and in my opinion this is only an opportunity to you know to um essentially buy the dip can we come back down to 0 0.001 very very possible in this bear market if bitcoin comes to a twelve thousand, thirteen thousand dollars, it is very possible that we drop, you know, another seventy percent. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, and, and if you do take it from the all-time high and we come back down, it was ninety-eight. It's a ninety-eight percent drop. Yes, is it a lot crazy? Guess what? Ethereum dropped ninety-six percent in twenty seventeen. Okay, Bitcoin dropped eighty percent. So of course these altcoins are gonna drop a little bit more than that. But guess what, guys? The lower it drops, the more you can multiply your money. So if we actually go back to the all-time highs, that's six thousand percent from right here all the way up that is 60x now i think that vra can go to at least at least easily 40 cents okay so if you go back to 40 cents that is 28 thousand percent guys if you 28 thousand percent i'll tell you how much that that is exactly that is 280 times from the bottom if we reach 0 0.001 now assuming okay you put 500 dollars that low Okay, because we know, guys, recession is starting July 1st. We know there's going to be a whole, uh, it's going to be a disaster. Let's just say that. And with uh, QT happening, it's not going to make it any better. So 0, 0.00, let's do one, two. Guys, with $500, look how much you could get. You could get, what, is that 41? No, that's not 41. One, two, three, that's 416,000 VRAs. Okay, at the all-time high, whoever wanted to buy 416 VRAs, it had it cost him thirty three thousand dollars, guys. Now imagine you put in literally two thousand dollars in VRA at this level. Okay, I don't know if it's gonna go to this level because that's really crazy levels. But assuming you do that, you know, divided by zero point one two two thousand dollars, guys, you're getting so you're getting literally close to two million VRAs. Assuming this thing goes to 0.40 cents, which I think it will, that's six hundred and sixty six thousand dollars. So this is why people say. Um, people get rich in bear markets and not in bull markets because if you accumulate those lows, by the time we essentially come back up, which is something like this most likely going to happen. And as you guys can see, it says 2026. Now, 2026 is $2. Are we going to go to $2? No, but if we actually go back right here, look at this 2025, we're already sitting at 24 cents. And that's very, very doable, guys. We're sitting, this is the monthly time frame right here. We need to understand that. It's not, we're not going to go like this and then come back up right away, okay? We're, we're, that's most likely not going to happen. We're not going to see this V-shape. We're most likely going to do something like that. People are going to say, oh, VRA is dead, Bitcoin's dead, crypto's dead. But guess what? This is the time to accumulate. Of course, not financial advice. If you believe in a project, there's no reason why you shouldn't be accumulating. Anyways, guys, this is it for my video on Veracity Bitcoin. If you guys like this video, of course, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video tomorrow.